It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 9th of February. I'm James Spann. The weather stays very mild through tomorrow. Much colder this weekend. How cold will it be? What about the chance of freezing rain or ice? Once again today, many questions. Let's see if we can find some answers. Here we go. This is the upper air look. Very active, complex winter weather pattern. We have a vortex, the polar vortex over Canada. Underneath that, a strong southern branch of the jet stream with a series of waves. But today we're in between waves. The weather not bad. We have a mix of sun and clouds. That's the visible satellite imagery. And we are well up in the 60s. Tuscaloosa, Clanton, Alexander City at 67, Demopolis at 68. We'll take that. But not that far away, that cold front is lurking. Memphis only at 42. Uh, that cold front not too far from the northwest corner of the state. Back in the cold air, there is an ice storm warning in effect now for parts of Kentucky. Winter storm watches from Arkansas up into parts of West Virginia. But we stay warm through midweek. This is the severe weather outlook through tonight. Maybe some thunder well to the south and east of here. No severe weather expected. Tomorrow, maybe a few scattered storms near the Gulf Coast. Much of the state will be dry tomorrow, much like today. Then Thursday, the weather turns wet. We'll have rain and thunderstorms across the deep south, but for now, severe storms are not expected. Rain for the next seven days, pretty wet down here in the southeast. Alabama rain amounts between one and a half and two and a half inches between now and Tuesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. The 12Z run valid tomorrow at three. Again, got that cold vortex over Canada. Active southern branch, got a wave south of Phoenix. And again, I think tomorrow, much like today, uh, highs up around 70, very mild, a mix of sun and clouds, any showers confined to the immediate Gulf Coast region. But Thursday, we go wet as that next wave comes in here. Uh, rain likely, maybe some thunder. Uh, we'll be in the 50s over the northern third of the state, still close to 70 down in southeast Alabama, and some nasty icing developing through parts of west Tennessee, northern middle Tennessee, and southern Kentucky. But not here. Now, this is Friday, and clouds linger, and there might be some lingering light rain, especially over the southern half of the state. In the day, noticeably colder. Temperatures will likely be in the 40s for the northern half of the state, with 50s to the south. And this is Saturday. Here comes the next wave, and this will likely bring a cold rain to much of the state. And the question is, could there be some maybe light sleet or freezing rain Saturday morning up near the Tennessee state line? That's a possibility, but for most of the state, it looks like a cold day, cloudy with periods of rain. And then this is Sunday. That feature is on by. We turn sharply colder. Uh, we'll be in the 30s over about the northern half of the state with a pretty stiff north breeze, 40s and 50s down to the south. And this is Monday. We're cold and dry. Now, uh, once again, the GFS has gotten very aggressive on the cold air Monday morning. It's got three at Muscle Shoals, four at Huntsville, 12 at Birmingham. But the European says not that cold. It's got 20s in the Shoals, 30s for Birmingham and 40s down to the south. And again, we'll kind of be using a blend of these models as these things are, like we've talked about, flipping and flopping like a fish out of water. So Monday night, we note the European model develops a deep surface low right through central Alabama. And if this verifies, this could be a nasty icing event for parts of Mississippi and Tennessee. But not here. It would be just a cold rain. Then during the day Tuesday, troughing north and west of the state, that feature is on to the east. So there's just a lot of challenges in the forecast here. Could there be some icing at some point over north Alabama? Yes, but there's no extremely strong evidence at the moment. So let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 19th. Trough axis just to the west and another shot of cold air coming in here. Snow for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. A lot of the members are putting down a few snowflakes at some point, maybe early next week. But again, that's very light. Uh, no sign of any major snowstorm here, despite the cold air lurking nearby. But pretty wet. This is the uh, rain through the next 15 days, through the 24th suggesting the mean about four inches. Some of the members exceed seven inches. And this is off the national blend of models. And again, I think this is the best way of looking at this. Uh, notice on Sunday, the high Birmingham dropping to 37 and the low Monday morning at 21. And then a slow warm up after that. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 17th through the 23rd. Once again, showing temperatures here 
a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. While I've notes on the blog, the next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.